So YouTube always has about 100 free movies to choose from and they change a bunch of them out month to month. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about 10 of the absolute best movies you can currently catch for free right here on YouTube. The full list of all the movies discussed is in the top pinned comment as usual, but in this video I've actually included links so you can start watching these right here on YouTube as soon as you finish this video. But my number 10 pick is Triangle. This is a horror movie that takes place inside the Bermuda Triangle and as a result it has some really twisted plot developments. And this is a pretty good looking movie. It does have a few years on it, so I had some trouble finding good quality clips to show you here, but it is an awesome movie with lots of twists and turns. If you enjoyed 1899 on Netflix recently, then this would make a great follow-up watch. But even with just a little bit of interest in a horror movie about the Bermuda Triangle, I can tell you that Triangle does deliver in that department. Jason Momoa makes the list with one of his lesser known movies that actually has a lot in common with Cliffhanger. I'm talking about Braven. We gotta get Charlotte out of here. Imagine that. Now this is kind of a basic movie, in fact it's your standard straight to video type of movie, but in that category, Braven is top notch stuff. There's actually pretty decent action here that unfolds well, the camera's not just shaking the whole time. There's some cool stuff that happens, but Jason Momoa is excellent in this movie. I feel like this is probably the type of stuff he would have continued to do if not for Aquaman, but the villains in this movie are pretty solid. Steven Lang from Avatar is actually in this as well. He's pretty great. So if you were a fan of Cliffhanger, I wouldn't say Braven is as good, but it's pretty damn close, especially for something that is free on YouTube right now. Danny McBride makes the list in one of the more twisted movies he's ever been in, Arizona. 911, what's your emergency? There's a man inside and he's killed people. He's got a lot of guns. Yeah, boy. So do I. Damn it! Who'd I shoot? This isn't the house! This movie takes place on the cusp of the 2008 housing crisis and takes place in a newly developed yet unfinished neighborhood. Rosemarie DeWitt is really the main character here. She witnesses something that she should not have and then ends up kind of stuck in a battle of wits with Danny McBride's character who's definitely not as witty as she is, but he's the one with the gun and things play out pretty well. This is a small movie. It really is just a performance piece, mostly between those two actors. But if you're the least bit interested in the way I've described it or like anyone involved with this one, Arizona is an excellent flick. Now Christian Bale actually makes this list in one of his lesser known movies that is actually an excellent movie based on a true story about real POWs in Vietnam. It is titled Rescue Dawn. You're a lot longer than people know. Two and a half years ago now. Two and a half years ago? Keep your head down, your mouth shut. That's your best chance of surviving. <laughs> Christian Bale plays a fighter pilot who is shot down over Laos during the Vietnam War and spends most of the movie inside a POW camp. This can be upsetting at times, but it's very well done. This was actually directed by Werner Herzog, so if you're a fan of his work, this is an excellent film. But even if it's just been a while since you've seen a good solid POW movie, Rescue Dawn is easily one of the best that has been made in the 21st century so far. Another heavy hitter on this list, Brian Cranston, makes the list with The Infiltrator. This too is based on the true story of how Pablo Escobar was infiltrated by US Customs agents who stumbled across his money laundering scheme. Not only is Brian Cranston great, but John Leguizamo is fantastic in this movie. I've always been a fan of his, and it's always cool to see him get a really cool role like this one. And The Infiltrator has some really tense moments. It's shot really well. It takes place in the 80s, so there's a killer soundtrack, and it's just really kind of a vibrant movie for an undercover cop movie. It actually delivers pretty well and has some fantastic moments in it, especially for a smaller movie you probably haven't seen that you can watch for free on YouTube. Now before moving on with the rest of the movies on this list, I do want to tell you about today's sponsor, Every Plate. And at the start of a brand new year, Every Plate can actually help you achieve multiple New Year's resolutions. First, they can help you save money by delivering delicious recipes directly to your door. If you're wanting to cook more, they're going to help you expand your cooking skills by giving you easy to follow recipes that you can complete in just six easy steps. I mean, just this past week, I made this delicious chicken and potato dish that had this incredible mushroom sauce on top of it that was, again, incredibly easy to make. But before that, 
I made this amazing little rice beef bowl that was so good, I actually forgot to take a picture of it. This is a photo of the leftovers, which were all so delicious. But every plate also helps you save money by sending you exact amounts. They send you exactly what you need so there's no food waste and you're not paying for extra ingredients that you're not gonna use in these recipes. And I've tried several of the popular meal kits that are out there, but every plate is up to 56% cheaper than those other leading brands and all of the food is delicious and fresh. And right now my viewers can get started with every plate for just $1.39 per meal by going to everyplate.com and using my code FLICK139. That's up to a $134 value. And another thing I love about every plate is they let you make substitutions before the box is shipped to you. And you can even add on sweets like vanilla cheesecake delight. So again, you can get $139 per meal by going to everyplate.com and using code FLICK139. That information and link is also in the video description below. It's a fantastic deal, but speaking of fantastic stuff, let's move on with the rest of the movies on this list. If you recently watched the Netflix original movie Troll and liked it even just a little bit, then I highly recommend checking out Troll Hunter. This too comes from Norway and involves similar folklore of these gigantic trolls that turn to stone. Yet Troll Hunter is filmed more like a found footage movie. They're making a documentary and it is tongue in cheek at times and quite fun. There are several sequences in this movie that are wild, tense and incredibly entertaining. I enjoyed the new Netflix original movie. It was a little bit like a low budget Godzilla movie, but I'm telling you Troll Hunter is miles above that one, even though it is similar in so many ways. If you recently watched Glass Onion on Netflix and did not like it and want to watch a solid Edward Norton movie, definitely check out The Illusionist on YouTube. Now this came out around the same time as Christopher Nolan's The Prestige, which I do think is a superior movie, but The Illusionist is solid in its own way. Not only does this one have kind of a different look and tone, but it's a very different type of story. In this movie, Edward Norton is trying to use his ability as an illusionist to lock down a banger of a woman played by Jessica Biel. She's great in this as well, but Paul Giamatti really does stand out in this. If you're a fan of his, I highly recommend checking out The Illusionist. If you liked The Prestige a lot, then The Illusionist is a good sort of runner-up title as well. Now my next pick is a low budget sci-fi movie that punches way above its weight. It was available on Netflix for a while and some other streaming services, but now you can catch it for free on YouTube. And I know a bunch of you watching have yet to see Freaks. What are you doing? Someone could have seen you. You love the punishment for breaking the rules. No, Dad! You opened the door. You almost got us killed. No, this isn't the 1932 classic. This is from 2018 and stars Emil Hirsch as kind of a crazed father that's keeping his daughter locked up inside this dilapidated house. Bruce Dern, of all people, has a really interesting role in this as well. And it is a mystery movie. You as a viewer are trying to figure out what's going on because something's not quite right. And at first, it seems like something really unsettling is going on. But this movie blossoms into an incredible sci-fi adventure movie, even though it's on a small scale and takes place in a relatively limited amount of locations. The world building that happens outside of the frames of this movie is pretty incredible for such a low budget sci-fi movie. The only documentary on this list and really probably my favorite documentary of all time actually stars Arnold Schwarzenegger in Pumping Iron. Now this is the story of Schwarzenegger going for his sixth Mr. Olympia title while Lou Ferrigno is going for his first. Lou Ferrigno would go on to play the Incredible Hulk in the TV series and become a big star in his own right. But what's so interesting about Pumping Iron is it's kind of like Rocky. You're seeing them both train in very different types of facilities. It's very much an underdog story. Yet you're also getting this retroactive look at Schwarzenegger before he was a big star. And there are a lot of really fantastic moments in this. You can get completely engrossed in this documentary without the least bit of interest or knowledge in body building. Even though that's what it's about, it's about so much more and the storytelling here is incredible. Even if it's embellished a little bit, it feels almost like a scripted movie as a result and I think that's partly why it has held on as a top tier documentary for decades now. 
And then my top pick is a fantastic movie with some of the greatest actors in movie history. And it's also based on a really famous play by the same name, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. What are you gonna do about it, asshole? You fucking shit. Where did you learn your trade, you stupid you idiot? Whoever told you that you could work with men? Now this is required viewing if you consider yourself a movie buff. You have to have this under your belt. Aspiring actors, this is something they all have experience with. If not Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, then another David Mamet play. It is famous, famous stuff, and it is brought to life in this movie by none other than Al Pacino, Alec Baldwin, Jack Lemmon, Ed Harris, Alan Arkin, Kevin Spacey, and Jonathan Price. I mean, honestly, one of the greatest ensemble casts in all time. And if you go a step further and just say an all-male cast, it's probably the greatest all-male cast ever assembled. And they're all doing top-tier performance work. It's incredible, and the movie's quite funny as well. You're really just following guys that are duking it out as they're trying to sell timeshares. It's a lousy job, and that's really what the play is ultimately about, and it is just fantastic banter. Again, if you consider yourself a movie buff, Glen Gary Glenn Ross is required viewing. Go check out that top pinned comment down below to see the full list, along with links, so you can start watching these movies immediately right here on YouTube. Thanks again to Every Plate for sponsoring this video, but I will keep making these episodes as long as you keep watching them. Thanks for checking out this special YouTube video, and you will see me on the next one.